Shalom, Kahalal, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. That means all praise to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. Um, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, and salutations unto you, brothers out there, pushing the truth of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. Brothers and sisters that that do listen sincerely, um, this is a book called the mystery, the mysterious and prophetic history of Esau considered. In connection with the numerous prophecies concerning Edom, 1837. Uh, the author is um, bu, 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 down here, printed for J. G. and F. Rivington, London. All right, this is 1837, man. So Esau, there are certain Edomites inquiring about Edom because um, you Edomites. Um, I'm talking about you scholars, like you uh, biblical scholars and um, archaeologists and anthropologists and all these different fields of study, um, historians. You you guys, obviously, you cannot skip over Esau, Edom. A lot of you do. Um, a lot of you nowadays, because of uh, the Israelites, mainly starting with the apostles of GMS on down. Um, uh, but this is 1837, because, you know, when you read... And in, in, in from Genesis, uh, it tells you Esau and Jacob are, in, are intertwined, man. They're together until the end. <laughs> and one of them is going out, pursu pursuing to the book of Obadiah. One in, I believe, uh, verse 10. Um, when you're reading Ezekiel about there's a perpetual of uh, uh, judgment, or, or there's, there's a future judgment against Edom and Jeremiah. And, and Esau tries to very conveniently say oh they were all destroyed in the roman jewish wars when the romans were edomites and which we're going to prove it through this book okay so we're going to get uh hit up a couple pages this is page 76 and by the way i got this book years ago um i believe on amazon uh you can still try to look for it i haven't looked for it but my suspicion is of course the prices went up it might have not but you, just check it out check it out on amazon check it out on barnes and nobles any other websites that you uh, know out there. So this is page 76. It says, This brings us to examine Esau's blessing. He being another patriarch of the same country, by thy sword shalt thou live. In the first instance, Esau acquired the mountains of Seir by the sword. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> and uh, by the sword, by thy sword shalt thou live. That's an excerpt from uh, Genesis. I believe, was it 27? In, uh, when uh, when Esau was receiving his blessing, um, his blessing is his sword, man. You know, his way of life is 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 taken and robbing and stealing. That's his way of life. That's how he gets shit done. It's not by the pen. It's not by uh, legality uh, or legal terms and and all this bullshit. It's at the end of the day, it's by the sword. Okay, he's a man that lives by his sword. Okay. Uh, 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 he can he can use all the trickery and, and nice uh, hundred dollar words he wants and, and and if that doesn't work again the sword comes into play. Um, it says and his descendants as Idumeans were decidedly of a military character and served the Israelites as auxiliary troops. It says so far, however, were they in their character of Idumeans from breaking Jacob's yoke from out their necks. Again, if you know the scriptures, you know what this is talking about because in 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 in, in Genesis. Uh, again, I might be off, but chapter twenty-seven, I believe. Um, matter of fact, I have it. I have the scripture right here. I got the Bible right here. Let me just uh, one second look for it. But it tells you that uh, 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 Jacob will have the dominion first, and then Esau will break the dominion, right? Because during the time of King David, these Edomites were 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 un, You know, we had them under our foot, man. You know. Um. Yeah, this is Genesis 27 And I'll just go straight to the point This is verse 38 Let me just focus in Slakia Slakia It says And Esau said unto his father Hast thou but one blessing my father? Bless me even me also, O my father And Esau lifted up his voice and wept and the precept to that is is, a, is a Hebrews 12 and 17, and that's a good precept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live, 
and shalt serve thy brother Jacob, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob, until this day they, they hate us, because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And it precepts you to Obadiah 10. Because during the time of the Babylonians, the Medemites were helping the Babylonians catch the Israelites when they were trying to escape. Right? Then, of course, the, the oppression under the Greeks, the Romans. Right? So that was that was the point that I was trying to bring out. <clears throat> um, and again, uh, that yoke, as you see right here, that yoke right there, um, it happened twice. It happened on, under the uh, time of King David, where they, where they uh, uh, had the dominion. They freed themselves. It tells, uh, that's in the book of, um, I believe, Chronicles. Um, if anyone asks me on the comment board, I'll answer. I'll look it up. But at the moment, I don't have it. Um, and it happened again, of course, during when the time of after the Renaissance, well, during the Renaissance, after the Dark Ages. All right, these Edomites took back their dominion. It was all through prophecy, though. It was all through the Most High, the d divine intervention, if you will. Um, it says that in the time of David, King of David. Oh, it's that's the spirit anyway, right here, I believe. He put garrisons in Edom throughout all Edom. Putty garrisons, and all they of Edom became David's servants. That's a scripture that shows you they were. That's Second Samuel uh, eight and fourteen. Um, that that scripture shows you that they were under our dominion. But later on, they 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 uh you know they freed themselves. Um, they escaped. This was certainly a fulfillment of the prophecy that Esau should serve his brother. But in the course of time, the posterity of Esau ceased to be the mark of observation. And their very name, as before mentioned from Bishop Newton, was forgotten in the second century. Even the site of their ancient capital, Petra, was not known for some hundred years, till that long deserted scene of rocks and sepulchres, or sepulchres was discovered by Burke, Burkhard in his travels through, uh, through Syria a few years later. But although uh, thus forgotten, page 76, by the world, we must not for one moment conceive that the posterity of such a subject as of prophetic delineation of Azisa, described so remarkably in the 36th chapter of Genesis, can really become extinct in all his three branches before the last days. In his blessing also he at some period to have uh, he is at some period to have a dominion. This must be a dominion of notori notoriety. Or it would not have been predicted. It is true that involvement in other tribes, migration, or change of denomination may have obscured the three departments of his race. But dominion having been promised to him, it must rise up somewhere in his lineage. The Jewish rabbis trace Edom to Rome. You see? And we're going to bring up more information from page 90, 97. Okay, it says, perhaps we ought not to conclude this article without noticing the belief entertained by the Jews and Mohammedans, which is Muslims, that the original Romans were a colony of Edomites. <laughs> the, now, again, the original Romans, uh, when you get down to it, uh, dealing with the Etruscans, and uh, there was another group, uh, the Latins, because the original, all those people were Japhetic from... from uh, one of the sons of, of uh, Noah, uh, Japhet, they were dark skinned. If you look up the true skins, you'll see that, that the, uh, their features, they, they got the cornrows. You know, they're uh, people of, uh, of color, but they're not Hamites, they're not Israelites. Those were Japhites or Japhetic peoples that were pushed out of that area uh, by the, uh, starting with the Greeks. All right, but the original. Um, uh, uh, those places, Italy, uh, Greece, ruled by the Etruscans, uh, it was uh, uh, a dominion of kings. And then when the Edomites came in there, that's when they developed that system of uh, democracy, which is, again, just another trick. Uh, you, you still have a king behind the scenes because democracy really, at the end of the day, when you look it up, it, it really means divide and conquer or divide uh, and rule. All right. 
because demo uh, that's where you get the word demography which is uh, charting of, of populations or, 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 or analyzing populations so again demo means peoples or populations and uh, uh, graphy goes back to krasi I believe in the, in the Greek which means uh, a power or rule or divide okay so it's the same thing but they just changed it up because they're Edomites. That's how you know that uh, you look at the flow and, you, and, you, and it's a steady stream. And then all of a sudden, it, uh, it's a whole different thing. Democracy. That's, that, that wasn't invented by the uh, uh, Japheth. That was created by the Edomites. Um, and so the Talmud calls Italy and Rome the cruel empire of Edom. The Mohammedans consider that both the Greeks and Latins are descended from Rome, the son of Isa. Okay, but again, the original Romans were Japhetic. That story about the she-wolf, if you, if, if you know the history of Romulus and Remus, which is, that's where you get the word Rome from, is Romulus, which was Japhet. Those are Japhetic people. Those are dark-skinned people. But again, of course, we know that the Romans that took over them were Edomites. And this is what we're bringing out. Verse 98. There is in Bryden an account of an inscription upon a marble block dug up among the ruins of a fort in Messina, stating that Eliphaz, son of Esau, Jacob's brother, commanded that fort. So it's just showing you that his descendants, the Dukes of Edom, all these things that you read in, in how they quoted Genesis, uh, was it 36? It tells you all the descendants, they didn't just die off. They have they have a great part in prophecy, man. A very great part. In Second Ezra chapter 6 and 9, it tells you Esau is the end of the world. How the hell is he end, end of the world if, if they died off during the time of the Romans? That wasn't even the climax of, that was nothing, the, uh, the, the, uh, you know, the fall of Rome and those were great events, but that was nothing compared to what we're dealing with right now, uh, as, per, uh, as con, uh, per, uh, concerning prophecy, I should say. Page 99, the mystery of Esau's important history, having been already considered, need to be introduced here, uh, need not to be introduced here, Salakia. But the learned Jewish rabbins, having perceived that there is a secret connection between Rome and Edom. Okay. Uh, I believe that was it. Yeah. All right. So that was it. Uh, just a quick video. Again, this is information that clearly was, uh, you know, researched a long time ago. And uh, Esau, his top scholars know. That's why they... They, they had the biblical destruction group, the Bible destruction group, um, which was actually a program um, uh, designed by the elites to have their scholars and their top clergymen or whatever you want to call them, their associates, they would go up into the biblical realms, you know, or fields of study, you know, archaeology, anthropology, history, etc., etc., uh, linguistics and they would actually infiltrate those areas and they would tamper with the evidence or they would just destroy it or bring it back to the elites or whatever they had this this is well known information that's why books like this you're not going to come across a book like this at uh chapters or amazon or uh it's like not amazon but uh your regular book bookstore man in the go you're not going to come across these kind of books man all right so with that i want to say for letting me bring this out hope you brothers and sisters are edified uh, Shalom and, and, and double honors of course unto the apostles of Great Millstone who I learned the truth from and salutations unto you brothers out there and sisters may Yahweh Hashem Yahweh increase your faith Shalom